Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In the previous video, we have seen about the methods, states, behaviors, and other things of the class and object. In the today's class, we are going to see a topic called as class loading. What is class loading? Class loading is the process of loading a dot class file, that is the bytecode generated file from your hard disk memory to your JVM memory. A class gets loaded only once and a JVM uses class loader to load the dot class file. So this is how the dot class file gets loaded. These are your dot class or these may be your multiple dot class files which are there in byte code format. Byte code means the zeros and ones format of which the compiler generates. So those dot class files are loaded in your JVM memory. The JVM memory that is there, that is there in the RAM of our device. So this is how the dot class file get loaded in the JVM memory. Let us see a small example. First here we have class project. Void display. Inside the class project you have a method called as display method. For that display method we do have one print ln statement that is project display. The next is a public static void main. Here inside this we have the first line that is main starts. Second we have created one object of the project class. Then the display that is the method of this project class and next the main ends and the print ln statement. So the comp here after the writing of the program, everything takes place in three steps. First is the compilation, second the class loading and then the execution. In the first compilation step, the syntax of the program is being checked and it is converted to the dot class file. And after that, in the second step, that is the class loading dot class file gets loaded inside the JVM memory. After that, the execution takes place. Let us see in which steps does the execution takes, takes place. First, when the when the program gets loaded in the JVM memory, it is always going to execute the main method of the program. So here the main method of the program is in the line 5. So first of all, the line 5 gets executed. That is the main method. Soon after the main method, first print ln statement that is main starts, which is in the line 6. Then the seventh one. When it encounters the seventh line, here we have to create a new object of the project class. So it goes to the heap memory. The heap memory, it is going to create an object of the project class. Proj here it will be object address. Here will be the object name. So it is project class. So it is going to create a new object of the project class in the heap memory. So once it is done, we have a p display p dot display that is it is going to go to your void display method and it is going to print this statement that is project display statement so seventh one after the seventh one object gets created after the object gets created eighth one p dot display so once it encounters the p dot display it is going to execute your line number two so line number two is executed. So after that, line number three gets executed, four gets executed, and then it comes down again. So once it encounters this termination of this class, it um, termination of the method, it will execute the ninth statement that is again the println statement that is main ends. So once it is done, the 10th one and 11th one gets executed, that is termination. So this is how the execution of the project goes on. In the same way, let us see another example. This is another example for the class loading. Let us see here. So here you have one class, class project, the same class which we have seen in the previous example and but here we have called the same the method two times here so let us see the execution first the compilation takes place that is the syntax syntaxes are going to get checked 
second the class loading takes place then the third the execution of that particular this particular example so first the main program so in the test class the second line is going to get started that is the main method always in any program it is going to start with the main method then the third line main starts after the main starts the fourth line gets executed here two steps are going to take place the first step will be load project class that is it is going to load this project class after it gets loaded create an object of project class create an object of project class so it is going to create an object of project class in the fourth line p dot display it is going to go to the line 2 of your project class and it is going to execute that line fifth one p dot display it is going to go to the second line 3 4 and it is going to get terminated 6 again when this is called again it is going to go back to the same thing again your 2 3 and 4 lines are printed of this class project later on seventh line is executed that is main ends 8 and 9 and it terminates the project so this is how the program flow takes place and this is how the jvm loads your dot class file from your hard disk memory this is all for this video in the next video we are going to see about the constructors and other things so stay tuned till the next video till then bye bye